Hi guys, what's up? I hope everybody is doing good in the recent times that too specifically in the last one week I have been receiving so many questions on can we use our old CA inter material of auditing for the new syllabus also because now after all the break and enjoyment is over and as the results are nearer many people are more concerned about preparing their left out group to preparations uh, and they are also concerned about what to start and where to start so there is a question on whether to use the november 23 and before materials for the may 24 audit exam specifically so in this video we are going to try and understand i've made a similar video about strategic management where i still at the end suggested that you know if the new syllabus book is available to you follow the flow of that because see anyway I'm still going to suggest that even for audit that if you have the new syllabus book but I was also informed by a few people that where they are unable to you know study through the PDFs that are already available because many people are used to studying through the hard copy which is a very valid uh, point that I can understand at a student level having hard copy makes a lot of sense so some of them are saying that you know we are ordering through the uh, portal but uh, for some portal is not uh able to be accessed for some of them you know it's like it's taking a lot of time it's showing a lot of time that the book to be dispatched so people have their own challenges and one more thing is that you know it also becomes a challenge for you to switch materials so if you have already read audit once and you know can we continue to use our old materials i will definitely answer that uh notwithstanding which material you have followed now many of you who are my students in the past you have a material which i gave you which you can comfortably follow somebody else might be having some other material so which is why i thought irrespective of which material it is that is why i didn't put up chapter number comparisons and all i came with a blank screen for that reason only okay so that what i'm going to do now is to tell you that see when you're talking about the first thing that we are going to talk about is the new syllabus okay when uh, the discussion is beginning up we will talk about what are the chapters in the new syllabus the new syllabus has about that is when i say new syllabus which is uh, applicable from may 24 so going forward from new syllabus in the may 24 this has about 11 chapters as numbered in the ici okay so 11 chapters are numbered up and now what i will do is i will tell you the contents of these 11 chapters and where you can find the relevant aspects of these in your materials whether they are there or not there okay so only thing that will tend to become a little problem is the order because many of you might not uh, be, be comfortable in figuring out the orders so like that is one of the reasons why i suggested you that if you have an access to the uh, new material it will be amazing but like I said, if you are not following the classes for the new material or, uh, you know, if you just have to suddenly tick up a new material and read, it will be difficult for you. You can always do this. Uh, the chapter number one continues to remain. Nature, scope and objective of audit. Okay, so there is no much of a change here. Nature, scope and objective of the audit in here. The contents from the old syllabus are very clear you can continue to have the chapter one what is the nature of audit scope of audit advantages so almost everything that was covered in the first chapter of the old syllabus and the first chapter of the old syllabus it also includes the quality control aspects and also standard number 210 so what happened is right now if you see chapter number 11 and this i am going by when i'm saying chapter number as per ICI module okay i am going by chapters of ici module our agenda is to complete that only you know the entire set from whichever book it is i have to complete all these chapters so chapter number 11 in the ici module which talks about ethics and terms of engagement uh, in terms of engagement is specifically what they're talking about is standard number 210 and ethics wherein they are going to talk about all the independence and other related aspects wherein even the sqc is there here so this is chapter 11 of the new syllabus which is both there in chapter 1 of the old syllabus which is very much there in the old syllabus so the contents of nature scope objectives sqc1 and sa210 all of this so basically 
it is covered in the whole of chapter 1. You don't have to break your head much. These two chapters are covered. After this, as per ICA module, chapter number 2 is about audit planning. Right? Audit planning, which in other words is nothing but audit strategy, audit planning strategy, and which also covers materiality. So can I use my existing material for this? Absolutely, without any doubt, you can go ahead using these because they, are, they have no problems. Huh? Whichever the chapter is, this covers standard number 300 and standard number 320. So your material will definitely have contents related to benefits of audit planning, overall audit strategy, audit plan, that chapter as it is, the entire content of which can comfortably be taken care of. Okay, then the erstwhile chapter what is the number and all i am not giving because i am giving only the content so you can choose to pick up this existing material whichever you are having from that you can choose to read this content what content has been omitted also i will tell you okay now the next topic as per uh, ICA is risk assessment and internal controls risk assessment and internal controls which is very much same as per the old material the concept of audit risk the concept of audit risk standard number 315 basics of internal control all the review of internal controls and entire thing under this very topic of risk assessment and internal control they are calling something as a digital audit okay now with this is nothing but your audit in computerized environment so in your old book it must have been split into two chapters going number wise it is chapter 4 and 6 there chapter 4 and 6 but now here ICA numbers I am telling again these two if you read that is risk assessment and internal control chapter along with audit in computerized environment if you read you have covered the entire chapter 3 in the new syllabus so which means from your old syllabus book chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 4 and chapter 6 are absolutely the same okay now from the old book there is a full chapter on fraud that is completely not discussed here okay but when it comes to chapter number 4 now what they are now talking in chapter number 4 of the new syllabus is a full concept of audit evidence okay audit evidence let me just do a small addition to this here there is also a topic number five which is called audit of items of financial statements okay and then we have in the second module a topic called audit documentation Those of you who followed the previous ICA material, audit documentation and audit evidence, these two get uh, together were put to be chapter 3 of the old syllabus, right? Audit documentation, that is essay number 230, and all of the essays ranging from 500, 501, 505, 510 on opening balances. 520 on analytical procedures, 530 on sampling, all that entire story, whatever is there, they've all been covered here. In fact, if I have to tell you that you are a student who already knows those topics of sampling and uh, analytical procedures well, if you know those topics well, you really don't have to dwell deeper. Okay, your material has extra content than the new. So you can just, what you do is when you have that material, go through that. And then you can keep the PDF of the, uh, you know, uh, new material. Just see which points are there and mark up. It is not, it's going to be a small exercise of 10 or 15 minutes to do that. Because these two chapters, you can finish it that way. These two are very big. And chapter 5 as it is, is nothing but very much the same or with the same name. Audit of items of financial statement. Exactly the same. No change in that. You can use that full material as it is then uh, chapter number seven is called completion and review and this completion and review what happened is 
they have given certain standards which are also actually covered here only like say for example even 580 okay 560 570 so basically if you map the standard numbers you can comfortably use so 4 okay i'm just telling once again 4 6 and 7 all these whatever standards are there in the new syllabus they are very much there in the old syllabus in detail okay then chapter 8 absolutely no change audit report in the past also it was called as audit report and uh, which comprises of course of the company auditors report order 2020 as well this is exactly the same so for audit reports you can use the same 7 series material and also the same caro material you can use no changes then moving on to topic 9 which is special features special features of different type of entities when you say different type of entities this is like same again no change ranging from government audit to all those specialized audit corporate society audit llp everything that entire content is absolutely the same no much of a change is there here and then 10th chapter is audit of banks okay audit of banks which is also same now what happened was in the past section 139 to 148 which was called as company audit provisions which was very much there in the audit book is now not there here so only once you i mean of course no harm in covering that because that is anyway there in the aspect of law okay so ranging from audit of banks again the content is same but mind you the new thing is here in audit of banks um, since banking company accounts might not be there in the new syllabus accounting you guys who have already done this chapter is much beneficial for you so on a broad overview basis if you see can i use my existing material very much will i be able to map up the order that's a little task that you have to sit and do like i said this 10 15 minute video if it helps you to understand the broader overview from where to where that is why i thought i'll do this mapping live you can also do a similar set of mapping and the broader idea that I am trying to share here is you need not immediately, uh, you know, keep creeping that I don't have the book and all that. If, and again, see, it becomes completely different uh, zone to read a new book. If you are doing classes, then it is fine. Along with the classes, the new book will go well. But if you are just trying to upgrade a material directly, leave that and take one new material and do it again. It might be of, you know, like, uh, again, you have to rebuild from the beginning. So that is why this exercise otherwise. Uh, a known material will give you confidence your material will help and content of that material is also going to help only thing is chapter number five on topics of fraud okay in the old book you have fraud chapter which is fraud chapter number five and this company audit chapter number 10 these two are not there okay in the new syllabus strictly speaking these two are not there and since they are not there you really need not worry about chapter number five okay and chapter number 10 okay and uh, if i have to map up institute numbers the reason why i didn't do is different people use different books so i thought you know it should be useful for general audience so whichever book you use search for the content which is very much there and the content is almost same even in the new syllabus though they have put up the uh, name of the subject as auditing and ethics they have introduced only one chapter which is titled as ethics and the terms of engagement which again has the contents which are very much discussed in the erstwhile first chapter itself self review threats self interest threat advocacy threats those threats to independence independence in mind independence in appearance those concepts and uh, all quality control aspects which are all there very much in the uh, books from number 23 to prior you can continue to read that this is a video that can do some help for you with the immediate benefit if you want to do a detailed uh, you know analysis of what came where and how you can work around all that we can do is sit and take some time do one thing download the syllabus content alone from the ICI website do a mapping 
you will be able to do a more detail mapping than what i did for you now so that will be of more use to you okay so conclusion yes you can comfortably use books that are printed prior to november 23 and before for the may 24 exam by making certain alterations in your preparation pattern to try and understand it other than that i don't see any tension but if you want to stick to a better order as per that order the books and keep if they come quickly you can follow that also because content wise you already know what is there with and if you can afford to take a print of it uh, for free you you can always choose to do that if you are somebody who is ready to read from pdfs it's even more all these options are available so instead of waiting for a new book to come or instead of uh, waiting for long time i thought if that question can be answered can we use the books november 23 and before for writing the exam in may 24 my bigger answer at least for audit will be a big yes and this is the mapping i hope this video helps you guys in uh, you know drawing up to whatever you want to do so that uh, you can start your preparations of audit now itself i'll see you soon in another video guys thank you